Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros, and on today's episode, we're taking a look at the very interesting documentary called 24 by 36. It's a documentary about movie posters. Yes. Movie yes, posters. Yes, I um, found this when randomly searching the internet one day, or oh, randomly scrolling through Facebook, and one of the interviewers I follow posts it up, so I'm like, okay, cool. I don't know other fact other than that. I don't know anything about the movie other than fact it's a documentary about movie. I just said I'm documentary about movie posters. It sounds interesting. It, so, when you brought this to me, it sounded very interesting. Because even for me, I was just like, it sounds cool because it's a lot of people don't realize how much effort sometimes that goes into yeah. making that the right poster to keep the people's like, attention. Nowadays, movie posters aren't as great. You know, they yeah. just, they slap something there and bam, there you go. Yeah. That's that's your movie poster. There's more. The, there's there's the the, the the five flowing heads and the guy tiny guy below. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sure. You know, and then but but you, pretty much it's it's an art form in its own way because it's like yeah. not only are you trying to show off you know what this film is trying to capture, but also you're trying to. Um, pretty much advertise in a way. You're trying yeah. to grab their attention and go like, come see this movie. But yeah, please. back in the day, trailers weren't that like, you know, trailers nowadays are like Inception, sound filled, yeah. voice, movie quick. voice guy, yeah. like trope filled go movie trailers. Movie. But back in the day, trailers didn't do that. Trailers just showed you snippets and gave you the premise. Back then, it was the posters. But, no, yeah, it was two things though, and yeah, but back then it, it was two. It was one of the, the trailer. Posters. The trailer is if you saw it in theaters and you're like, oh cool, that's cool. But the movie posters were true. really drew. I mean, think about in. think about the original monster movie posters, Ooh, like yeah. for Frankenstein, Dracula. You and know, how they change, especially creature with, from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, especially. I mean, in, even with uh, some of uh, like was it Indiana Jaws, with, Jaws, Indiana Jones, Star Wars. Yeah, a lot. Of the people, way they captured the way they captured some of it was like they grabbed. They were like, you know what? It's grabbed something we would see in the comic books or in a graphic novel and put it on a poster. Some movies nowadays, some movies, some people don't realize the distributors don't realize it takes two things to permit you to see a movie. The poster and the trailer. Yeah. The trailer can be gray and all, but the poster can still be ass. Yeah. The poster can really advertise. Because if I just see the way. poster, I'm like, that's it. That's you know, it. But, what is it? But when they do the poster right and then the trailer right, you're going, yeah. wow, yeah. I can't wait. But now they say it all still has it still has changed. You know, where you not only have, of course, you have the trailer and you have the poster, but now you have the internet. You have to learn. You know, you put it in the right spots in the internet. You know, but still here it goes back to. The poster, you know, the one you see, oh, so you see in movie theaters. But let's let's get to it. Check this out and see what to expect. So here we go. Snowport Pictures presents. Oh yeah, gone with the wind. And that guy, yeah, yeah, shrews in it. Oh yeah. Well, when I was a kid, the first connection you would have with the movie seeing the poster, but I had a neighborhood theater, and uh, when I would go to the movies, they would have a hall where they had six or seven posters for pictures that were coming, and that's how you could gauge what you were going to do with the next couple yeah. of months of your life. Prior to about 1965, they never really gave the artists credit for their work. That said, people now want the original release poster original. for Nowadays, a collectors or uh, a Struzan film. Movie poster art is revered the, now. The Goonies? Uh, the ironic thing is that as much as we love it, um, it's an art that is pretty much dead. Yeah. The studios yeah, aren't hiring illustrators anymore. Yeah. And it's sad. The fans have taken it upon themselves to uh, create magic. Yeah, it's true. That's, that's, that's the point where the fans... That's incredible. The fans have made the minimalist posters. Yeah. That the poster. Goonies. Do I think that what we're doing is going to impact commercial films? It gives me hope. It gets you out, yeah. It's, it's purely a love thing. It's true though, like he just said, it's like, it's like it's dead, you know. It's like, it, like I, it, and that's it, like how, and I brought that up before before we watched the trailer too. It's like it's not there anymore. It's not. It's not. There, there's no more of the umph anymore. You know. And, that's like, how, and that's, and that's where we get the like they said. That's where we get the minimalists. 
Yeah, sometimes we get the minimalist posters, the art shots, the exclusive IMAX posters that actually look like some effort's been done to them. They put effort into showing Nowadays, you, you, it's a gamble to get a decent looking movie poster. Oh, yeah. Just a movie poster. And the guys, and I, I like how we brought up good points, and they brought up good points too. Like the whole, you know, you know, sometimes we couldn't see a trailer. Sometimes we had to go off of the poster. We had to go off the poster going, okay, that's why I have to wait that's, for, that's you know, for the next doing. few months. See, I'm going to see that movie in the next few months. Exactly. That looks good, you know? I, it really captures you. It's like a poster. The movie poster really, it, it's like that saying goes, uh, a picture a picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah. You know, it's like I, the picture has to really tell what the movie's about where it's going to be like, I want to see that, you know? That's yeah. what the movie is, and it's I, really interesting. Yeah, I mean... Post and again, again, it's like it's uh, that's why maybe it's sad to hear when it's like it's it's dead, it's gone, and that's why you see a lot of these uh, these small time artists, these minimalists, pretty much you see online every now and then where they grab all these big hit movies we know nowadays in, in our time, our generation, and they give them that 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 classic look, and some of it it's like if I was seeing that poster instead, I would want to go see the movie, you know? Exactly. But it's it's really interesting. I definitely want to see this because I'm an artist myself, and I really wouldn't mind seeing that uh, seeing some of the artists that we grew up watching, you know, seeing their artwork, you know, back in the day. And like they said too, nowadays they're collectibles. People want it. They want these posters because it reminds them of the good old days. Exactly. I mean, yeah, Columbia Instagram, I'm definitely want to check this out as well. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, if you if you if you're a fan of I wouldn't say art per se. If you're a fan of a good movie poster, if you're a fan, if you're the kind of guy who wants that thing, that 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 piece of paper, that twenty four by thirty six, six. If, if you will, you know, to convince you, I should see that movie. I want to go see that movie. Yeah. Nowadays we don't get that as much. No, so we don't. Definitely, we rarely, rarely I ever get that. I definitely recommend it. And we didn't see a uh, release date or anything. No, but I would yet. figure it's soon. It's soon. It's soon. But I, I definitely wouldn't mind checking out this movie. Oh, I definitely want to check it. So. so, other than that, though, if you like us enough, or if you like us talking about movie posters, hit the like. If you want to talk about it, this video, comment down, down below. Or share as well, share with the world. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, make just sure to subscribe. subscribe button. Yeah. Well, see, you in, <coughs> excuse me. If you want to see any of our past videos we've done uh, recently? Just click down below. Check us out. Check out our videos there and then continue going backwards in time to see all of our other previous videos. Check us out. Of course, today's episode question is, what's your favorite movie poster? Yeah, everybody's there's, got their own favorites. There's, there's a lot. I mean, off the top of my head, anything from Shruzan. Drew Shruzan. Yeah, Drew Shruzan. The original I mean, Star Wars posters. Yeah. Indiana Jones. Jones. He really he, captured everybody's attention with the, those posters. Yeah, and yeah, Drew Shruzan posters, pretty much for me, I don't have a specific one because... There's so many great posters out there. Yeah, there's you know? so many. But that's Do you have mainly one? no, I no, I'm with you. Oh, I know what your favorite is. Mm. The original Burton Batman teaser poster. Oh my god. Remember all it showed was just the emblem. That's it. The emblem. The emblem that that just pretty much explained all black, just that's that, Batman. That, that's just it. a yeah, symbol. This is symbol. That's all you needed. Simple. That was a poster where it's like you saw it and you're like you knew what it was. Even though, even if you didn't know who Batman was, you're like, I want to know more about this. Exactly. You know? I, that's another one I like too. But for now though, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And we'll be seeing you at a theater near you. Really? Not really. Not really? Okay. Well, until next time, see ya! Later.